congratulations, you're the owner of a recreated ZX Spectrum. So now you want to know what to do with it. Well, in this video, we're going to tell you everything you need to know about setting it up and getting the most out of your recreated ZX Spectrum. We'll start by showing you what's in the box and giving you a quick tour around the recreated device. Then we'll have sections on powering it, pairing it with your phone, tablet or computer and streaming to your connected TV. We'll tell you how to access the recreated ZX Spectrum app, which is where you're going to find some classic Spectrum games and program in Spectrum Basic. For those of you that want to use it as a keyboard, either via Bluetooth or wired, we'll cover that too. And very importantly, we'll tell you how to unlock your device. Until you do, you won't be able to use your recreated ZX Spectrum as a standard keyboard. Hopefully, we'll do all this pretty clearly and quickly so you can get on with getting the most out of your recreated device right away. Okay, let's get cracking. In the box, you're going to find four things. Firstly, the recreated ZX Spectrum, of course, a USB cable, quick start instructions, and a keyboard shortcut label. Two things that aren't in the box is the full manual, which is on our website, which is www.recreatedzxspectrum.com. Then the really crucial thing that's not in the box is the Recreated ZX Spectrum app, which is where you'll find some classic Spectrum games and is what you use to unlock your Recreated ZX Spectrum, so you can use it as a standard keyboard too. So before we do anything else, let's go get the app. Just before we show you how to get the app, a quick word on why you're going to need it. Unlike the original Spectrum, where the games were loaded directly into the Spectrum, you know, with cassette tapes or microdrives, with the recreated ZX Spectrum, many of the classic games are contained in the app that runs not on your recreated ZX Spectrum, but on your phone, tablet or computer. For example, launch the app on your tablet and then use the recreated ZX Spectrum keyboard as your controller. Now, let's just show that on a diagram. So here we have a device that's running the app, either you know a tablet or phone or computer. And then here we have the recreated ZX Spectrum keyboard acting as a controller, either wireless or wired. Now, the beauty of this setup is that as we update the app, which we will do with more games and features, then your recreated ZX Spectrum continues to evolve. We also expect third parties to release collections of Spectrum games that will work with your recreated ZX Spectrum 2 because, like the original Spectrum, it's an open platform. So you're not just stuck with the games and functionality available at launch. OK, with that out of the way, let's get the app. Let's first start with phones and tablets. For iOS users, simply go to the Apple App Store and search for recreated ZX Spectrum. This is the icon you're looking for. Now, simply install this app onto your phone or tablet. For Android users, head to Google Play and again, just search for Recreated ZX Spectrum. When you find this icon, download the app. OK, to get the Recreated ZX Spectrum app running on your computer, it works slightly differently. You don't download it once as you do with either the tablet or the phone. Each time you want to access the app, you simply go to our website, www.recreatedzxspectrum.com, and use the Recreated ZX Spectrum web app that's located there. OK, we've shown you what's in the box, and you've either now downloaded the Recreated ZX Spectrum app for your phone or tablet, or found the web app. So, now let's take a quick tour of the Recreated device itself. The idea here is just to introduce you really to the inputs and switches located on the back of your recreated ZX Spectrum. We'll go into detail how to use these later, but for now, let's just get a little bit familiar on what's there. Now, if we start on the end, we have a slot marked 5B DC. This is where you plug in your supplied USB cable to connect the device to a power source, or if you want to use it as a wired keyboard. Moving along, we have a switch marked layer. Now, how this is set determines which mode the recreated ZX Spectrum is working in. Whether it's in game mode for playing Spectrum games and programming in basic, or QWERTY mode for when you want to use it as a standard keyboard. Along again, we have the pair button. Hit this after you power up to pair your recreated ZX Spectrum with your tablet, phone or computer via Bluetooth. Next comes the status LED that will flash and show different colors to reflect what the device is currently doing. And finally, we have the on-off switch. Yeah, guess what that does. 
Now, just one final thing to point out. If we flip the device, on the back here is the battery compartment. OK, that's our super quick tour over. The first thing you need to do is power your recreated ZX Spectrum, either with a USB cable or with batteries. Now, the unit is powered by two AAs, not included, and we do recommend rechargeable batteries. Just pop open the slot on the back of the unit and insert the batteries as shown with the positive end pointing towards the opening. Then pop the cover back on once inserted. Now, on the back of the unit, flick the on-off switch to on. The status LED will illuminate blue for approximately three seconds, indicating that the device is now on. If you're using rechargeable batteries, which we do recommend you do, you can recharge the batteries at any point by using the supplied USB cable to connect the unit to a power source such as a computer or a wall socket. You'll need a plug adapter, not supplied, if you're going to plug it directly into the mains. Now, when connected and charging, the status LED flashes red. When charge is complete, the status LED will stay red. Whether you're going to use your recreated ZX Spectrum to wirelessly play Spectrum games and program in BASIC, or as a Bluetooth keyboard, you first need to pair it with the tablet, phone or computer you want to use it with. To do this, after power up, simply hit the pair button once. The status LED will now begin to flash blue, which indicates that the device is ready for pairing. It will continue to do this either for one minute or until you've paired the recreated ZX Spectrum with another device. Whilst the status button is flashing on the device you want to pair with, launch the Bluetooth controls. Within discoverable devices, you should see recreated ZX Spectrum. Select this and after five to 10 seconds, your device should now display that it is paired with the recreated ZX Spectrum and the status LED should stop flashing. You're now paired. Depending on what device you're pairing with and its settings, subsequently each time you switch on your tablet, phone or computer, it may or may not automatically pair with your switched on recreated ZX Spectrum. If it doesn't automatically pair, you'll need to follow the procedure just described to pair it again. Do note that all Bluetooth devices have a power saving mode and if your recreated device has been dormant for a little while, you may need to tap a key or two or even turn it on and off again to restore the pairing. If you want to do this, turn the recreated ZX Spectrum off. Use the included USB cable to connect the 5V DC socket to a compatible device. Turn the recreated ZX Spectrum on. The status LED will flash red. As soon as the recreated ZX Spectrum is connected, the status LED will stop flashing. You're now ready to go. Once powered up and paired with your tablet, phone or computer, or connected via the USB cable, the next thing to do is to select the appropriate mode for what you want to do. You can do this by flipping the layer switch located on the back of the machine. Out of the box, the layer switch will be set to A. This is game mode. This is the mode you select if you want to play Spectrum games or program in BASIC using the app or web app. Flicking the layer switch to B puts the device in QWERTY keyboard mode. This is the mode you select if you want to use your recreated ZX Spectrum as a standard keyboard to type emails, write documents, all the stuff you do with a normal keyboard, but of course with Retro Chic added. So it's important that you have the layer switch set correctly for what you want to do. If you're trying to write emails or documents whilst in game mode, the layer switch is set to A, then you'll get garbage coming up on your screen when you type. Alternatively, if you're trying to play Spectrum games but are in QWERTY mode, the layer switch is set to B, then the keyboard controls in the game won't work. Right, if you were paying attention, you'll remember earlier that we said you'll need to unlock your recreated ZX Spectrum before you can use it as a standard keyboard to type emails and write documents, etc. Before it's unlocked, if you try to type in QWERTY mode, only the number buttons will work. The good news is you only have to unlock it once and it's super easy. First, turn on your recreated ZX Spectrum and make sure it's in QWERTY mode, the layer switch is set to B. 
Spectrum. Now launch the recreated ZX Spectrum app on your phone or tablet, or if you're using a computer, go to www.recreatedzxspectrum.com and access the web app. All of this you should be familiar with as we covered it before. Okay, now from the menu of six options in the app, choose the Unlock option. Now you'll be guided through a quick procedure to unlock your recreated ZX Spectrum. Basically, you'll just be asked a couple of quick questions to agree to the terms and conditions of use and enter a short code. At the end of this quick procedure, your recreated ZX Spectrum is unlocked and QWERTY mode is enabled, so you can use your recreated ZX Spectrum as a standard keyboard, either wired or Bluetooth, whenever you want. OK, now while we're in the app, let's take a quick tour around it. Hopefully we've made the recreated ZX Spectrum app simple enough for you to easily figure out how to find and play games, but here's a quick guide anyway. When you initially launch the app, you're presented with this menu. Let's quickly talk through it. Play. This is where you'll find and launch all the Spectrum games that Elite has licensed for use with your recreated ZX Spectrum. It's also where you'll find the basic programming language. Buy. This takes you through to our website where you can buy a recreated ZX Spectrum keyboard. Option. This is where you can change the image, characteristics and orientation, so from landscape to portrait, etc. More. In here you'll find more about the original ZX Spectrum and the recreated ZX Spectrum. It's also where you'll find this and other helpful videos. Social. This is where you'll be able to share information about the recreated ZX Spectrum on social networks. The final option is Unlock, which you should be familiar with by now. If you're not, then make sure you watch the previous chapter in this video called Unlocking. OK, so now we're on to the really good stuff, playing the games. So within the recreated ZX Spectrum app, you've selected Play and you've spun through the collection of games there and you've chosen one that you want to play. Now, before the game launches, you'll be given the option of either using the original game controls or using the iDaptive game controls. So what's all this about then? Well, with the original game controls enabled, you'll use the same keys to control the game as when the game was first released back in the 1980s. This does mean that if you play lots of different games in original game controls mode, you'll need to learn the keyboard layout for each different game. Now if that sounds a little bit too difficult, you can alternatively choose to play the game using the iDaptive controls, where a standard keyboard control layout is used. In iDaptive mode, Q will always work as up, A will always work as down. In fact, here's the full list of iDaptive controls. Up, Q, down, A, left, O, right, P, fire, 1, M. Now, the benefit of using iDaptive is that you don't have to learn the keyboard controls for each game that you play. The downside is that some of the more advanced game-specific features may not be covered by the iDaptive controls. In QWERTY mode, where layer switch is set to B, you can use the recreated ZX Spectrum as a standard keyboard once it's been unlocked, with your phone, tablet, computer, and in some instances, even your connected TV. This is great for writing emails, typing documents, you know, with a little added retro chic. One thing to note, because the recreated ZX Spectrum recreates faithfully the keyboard of the original Spectrum, no more keys, no less. There are some keys found on typical modern keyboards, that won't be found on the recreated ZX Spectrum. Never fear, you can use the cap shift and symbol shift keys to provide access to additional keyboard functionality not anticipated by the designers of the original Sinclair ZX Spectrum. A number of popular keyboard shortcuts have been implemented and can be found listed on the keyboard shortcut label included in the box. Now, before you start using these, you need to tell your recreated ZX Spectrum what type of device you're using it with. Is it iOS, Mac, Android or Windows? You do this by holding the symbol shift and cap shift and then either Z, V or X respectively for several seconds. So hold symbol shift and cap shift and Z for iOS or Mac devices. Hold symbol shift and cap shift and V for Android devices. Hold symbol shift and cap shift and X for Windows devices. By default, the extended keyboard functionality of your recreated ZX Spectrum is set to work with iOS devices. Currently, 
there isn't a version of the recreated ZX Spectrum app for your connected TV. We're working on that and aim to release one late 2015 or early 2016. When this is available, you'll be able to download the recreated ZX Spectrum app for use with your connected TV and use the recreated ZX Spectrum device as a controller, just as you can right now with your phone or tablet. In the meantime, if you want to play the Spectrum games in the app on your TV, you can, but it requires a different setup. Basically, you'll need a Chromecast, Apple TV or similar device connected to your TV. If you don't own one of these, then you'll need to wait until the recreated ZX Spectrum TV app is released before you can use our app to play Spectrum games on your connected TV. If you simply wish to use the recreated ZX Spectrum as a keyboard in combination with your Bluetooth-enabled TV, then you can do that now. Simply pair the recreated ZX Spectrum with your TV just as you would with a phone or tablet, and away you go. We're going to be continuing to add new games and features to the app and the web app. The app should automatically update when we release a new version. In particular, the recreated device already does things that no other Bluetooth keyboard can do, such as enabling you to play fast Twitch games on iOS devices, and we're planning incremental improvements and to be responsive to feedback so that you can make it your go-to keyboard. As we've already mentioned, we'll be releasing a version of the app for connected TVs too, which will eliminate the need for casting from your phone or tablet. We also anticipate that third parties whose existing Spectrum apps currently only work with on-screen touch controls will modify them so that they can too work with the recreated device, and so offer you the full specy experience with even more games. So, this is just the beginning, and thank you so much for joining us.